With the flip of a switch this morning, something happened on the USS Alabama battleship that has not happened in 20 years. Fox News reporter Steve Alexander tells you how a particular piece of machinery played an important role in World War II. The radar on top of the USS Alabama is rotating again. It was put back on the ship Tuesday after extensive repairs. Well, the, the SK-2 radar hasn't turned in probably 20, 25 years. We completely rebuilt it, refurbished it, put all new components in it, and we've turned it on today for the first time. The radar was taken off the ship and spent three months undergoing repairs. We're going to run it from about 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then, uh, you know, every day, unless we got some real severe weather coming that we know about, and we'll, we'll cut her off because we don't want to get a lightning strike on it. Battleship officials say the rotating radar makes the Alabama look like an active naval vessel. When you drive up and you see the radar turning, uh, we think, we hope it's going to be a, a, an attractant to people driving down the interstate and look over and see the radar turning. They'll, uh, they'll want to come in and visit. This same radar played an important part in a World War II battle. The Alabama was the first ship in the Battle of the Philippine Sea to identify Japanese aircraft coming in to attack the Allied Task Force. Uh, we shot down over 400 Japanese aircraft, and most of those were their, their elite pilots during the time, and we were able to that actually turn the, uh, the tide of the, of the Pacific battles uh, for the for U.S. The attack was called the Great Marianas Turkey Shoot. Now the radar is rotating again. Instead of looking for enemy aircraft, though, it's beckoning visitors to be a part of history. Reporting from Battleship Park, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Well, the work on the radar and other repairs are being made for January 15th anniversary of the Alabama opening to the public.